The Golden Curse Tablets Yes curse not cursed. Curse tablets, or tabella de fictionis, were common in ancient Rome. These inscriptions on metal were harnessed to bring vengeance. In August 2016, archaeologists discovered Golden Curse Tablets in eastern Serbia. While some are written in Greek, others are written in an unknown language with indecipherable symbols. Some of the tablets are demonic invocations. Experts believe the unique symbols were a secret code between the user and the demon. Dated to the 4th century AD, these tablets reflect a Roman Empire in flux. They reference Christian and pagan deities, revealing a slow transition in belief. Lead curse tablets have been discovered before, but these golden versions are unique. There was an ancient Roman prohibition against burying gold with the dead. Ancient Romans used magical inscriptions to bring vengeance on enemies, unrequited lovers, bad neighbors, and relatives. Archaeologists have unearthed the rare finds of these curses at the Viminisium site in the eastern region of Serbia, in the former Roman province of Misha Superior. These curse tablets, known as tabella de fictionis in Latin, have inscriptions which read, Let all forces and demons help that. Some of the artifacts are written in ancient Greek and also in indecipherable languages and unknown symbols, whose meaning is lost today. They were probably invented by the people who created the curse tablets, and experts' theories that the messages could only be recognized by the gods and demons they were addressed to. The discoveries are hailed as unique as previous curse tablets have been made in lead, not a valuable precious metal such as gold and silver. This is a very important archaeological discovery because it shows us how luxurious the life in Viminisium was or how much hope they had in the curse tablets so that they used precious metals, Mayamur Koruk, the chief archaeologist at the Viminisium site, told NBC News. According to my knowledge, such tablets have never been found inscribed in gold anywhere. According to the Roman customs, gold was never put into graves. These archaeological finds, which are believed to date back to the 4th century AD, show evidence of a changing religious landscape, as both Christian and pagan gods are called upon. Opposing deities appear on these tablets, as if invoking both Christ and the Antichrist today, or Christ and pagan gods, and that is weird. This shows us that the process of converting to Christianity was slow. At its prime, the ancient city of Viminisium had a population of around 40,000 people, which made the city a third larger than Pompeii, and was home to many nationalities. We found that Christians and pagans were buried together and we can conclude that, at the time, they lived in harmony and tolerance, explained Koruk. Curse tablets were found throughout the Greek and Roman world as well as in ancient Egypt. They were usually inscribed with a stylus on tablets but also in the shape of human figures. The furious comments from many thousands of years ago are vividly descriptive, as in a curse tablet found in London, I curse Tresha Maria and her life and mind and memory and liver and lungs mixed up together, and her words, thoughts and memory, thus may she be unable to speak what things are concealed, nor be able. Translation by the British Museum So blame them. Another reads, so long as someone, whether slave or free, keeps silent, or knows anything about it, he may be accursed in his blood, and eyes, and every limb and even have all his intestines quite eaten away if he has stolen the ring or been privy to the theft. Items like this are hidden from sight everywhere, you may be able to hide the hate, but it's still there lurking. Stay paranoid my friends.